ace out there. Uh, nonetheless, here it is going to be Nico and Void Grand Finals. Uh, of course, Nico had such a great season this past few six months, honestly. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I do think he kind of underperformed at, like, S-tiers, which is unfortunate. Yeah. Like, I, I, I do – I really wanted to see Nico pop off at an S-tier, but – we didn't see uh, too many crazy results coming from the S tiers, but some of the other tier term. I mean, he has three wins on the buzz this season in terms of like season two of PGR, like a lot of incredible wins. And just, I, I feel like season one, he was kind of like adjusting to everything, like yeah. just the game. And then it, it really just started to show in season two for the PGR season two in terms of like Nico, like, okay, now my character, you know, I, I suffered throughout all of Smash 4. Mm -hmm. My character was booty. And then he finally like came in swinging season two of the PGR, and he's made such a great case for him. Hopefully, he gets on the PGR. Um, we'll see. It'll be close. It'll yeah, be close. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I know. I know. Komei also definitely popped off. Finally, oh, uh, yeah. he had a chance to come to the US for his first time here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course. One thing for Nico too that I did talk to him on our car ride here is he's kind of been slowly rising, going over a couple hurdles. He wasn't able to perform as well as he wanted to at certain tier level tournaments. Right. And then he slowly started to break out, right? He's won the buzz, a lot of to finally proceed to a level where he was able to win B tiers and even A tiers, right? When I think yeah. he won uh, the, the charity uh, event. The charity event, right, in yeah. Canada. He was able to win that, uh, get a run back against Rivers from Nightmare on Smashville. And now I told him the next hurdle is going to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the higher level echelon of the PGR and Japan. It's not easy to I mean, to higher Japan. level, this guy's kind of already doing it, but, like, more of a spread break. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. they get three wins on the buzz, and that's definitely higher level, but, mm -hmm. like, more of them, right? Yeah. Get, the get more of them on the menu kind of Yeah, thing. exactly, right. Now that he's opened up that level of a playing field to be at that high level against the PGR player, he kind of has to find the next hurdle, which is Japan. Getting across to Japan is not an easy feat. It's not simple, man. It's hard. And I know that was one of the things that will stop, that stopped Nico back at Congo Saga. Stopping him from advancing, honestly. So we'll see how things will go in for him in the coming year and season here. Starting off here with 45%. Oh. And then down there with the Smash R immediately. Stock Jeez. one is gone. I never had a chance to finish my thoughts. Okay. Yep. You're good, Nico. <laughs> like, yeah, that yeah. was that was Chris. I mean, we talk about some of the higher echelon, man. This is why Nico is able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Falling Ooh. up air. Uh, one thing Nico did tell me about him, you can get two falling up airs depending on the art. Yeah, yeah, and I like that falling up there too because he set up for cross up as well. Yeah. Very nice coming out from Nico. So Nico with a very sizable lead here, gonna get shot up in the up. up. God, I, I, he was in the bubble. I couldn't even tell what gun he was doing. Yeah, me either. Oh, tried to get the downer. That would have been the stock. Possibly he could have switched the shield art. Maybe. One of the arts too that kind of helped erase our sin is going to be Buster R. It is a 50-50, of course. You either do a lot of damage or take a lot of damage, but it does double damage to the meter, which will remove right. our a lot faster. It's one thing you can, you can use. Because our sin meter is based off of damage. So. Yeah. Very, very big deal. Ooh, we waited for the opportunity for the oh, forward no. air, but it was enough, and unfortunately, Void went a little too low. Yeah, a little too low there. And I do like the idea, though, because it's like, oh, well, you can't, like, you don't have a command grab, right? So mm -hmm. I, I'm just going to, like, you're just going to do this counter, hold it, and get as much meter as I can. And if he was able to get, go for Rebel's card there, oh. that would have put Nico away. 131 here at the ledge. Mucera has such a wide arc that it's able to cover up some of those options that Void might have been picking for. And Nico's playing the air-to-air -air so, so well, and of course the survivability. Um, not too surprising, but still very impressive when you're dealing with things like Arsene and stuff, so mm -hmm. still very, very nice coming out from Nico. I love no how he's way. going for those air those jumps. Even Nico had to look at him and he's like, what are you going for? Bro. Hold the phone. I can love I, that. Can I get some respect on my man's Nico? <laughs> like, I like that from Boyd, though. I like how he was kind of jumping around him waiting for the opportunity to go for one of those aerials. That's like the hardest call out on I've got you locked in shield. Yes. Like, you are <laughs> so scared of me right now. Like... There's the shield art. Oh, gets the up smash anti-air. Tries to go for the run back on it. All right, so kind of mounting this comeback here, but we'll see if Nico can get something started here. Close out this game number one because he's had oh, such a lead. <laughs> oh, man. I'll tell you, dude. There's a reason why Void's roommate. He feels the presence of your mind. Yeah. He knows, yeah. What, he knows what you're going to say next. Like, finish the line, Charles. I I'll, got be you. There. I'll be right with you. <laughs> I'll be right with you. Void, I got you on the commentary curse, bro. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> It'd be such a shame if he dropped that. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> all right, but, but all jokes aside, um, looks like uh, Arse Void racking up a decent amount of damage. 
getting ready for this next Arsene because it's so it sucks when you're Joker and the Arsene pops and they're at zero. Yeah. Like you can get something super super clutch, obviously still, but if they're just like resetting after every hit, it can be hard to like really come through and get all exactly. the money on your side. Now he's he's got Nico at a decent kill percent here, especially yeah. with this rage. About a third left of Arsene. Yeah, nice. going right to the shield to stall it out. Really good opportunity, too, because he knows he went for a jump, and then either up or back air was going to be one of the things. But not all right, has run out. Nico slips into the cracks, really? and he gets the forward <laughs> tilt from that side of the stage. Nico now takes it. My man even looked. Whoever's drawing that man in the background like a French girl, even he was surprised with that forward tilt. Bro, Void almost had the frame trap on the forward air with Arsene. Like, that was so yeah. close to hitting after that directional air dodge. I thought he was dead. Because ap like, after that forward air, you can drag down down smash or just like after that fair one, you can just back air him. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's, that was so, like Void de definitely had the right idea, but I don't know if he had the enough air mobility to sink it that that far, right? And that, and that was just a good job on Nico going for that directional air dodge as far away as possible. Yeah, he slipped in barely through the crack here. Well, let's go here to game two, Nico. Game one on the board. Speed art, of course the corner carry. He's looking for the opportunity to gimp him, but that up B will be enough. A little higher than Luigi's. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna have to work a little harder on these gimps for uh, for Void here. Exactly. And it also gets boosted by being in jump art. Uh, Void tried to crouch the Nair, but that Nair it's, keeps it's going. Got an yeah, it it's keeps good. going. Like it, it, Nothing stops for that. Ooh, down air. Waits for the switch. And then a lot of uh, a lot of things here with Shulk, a lot of his aerials do have that high and lag. Sorry, startup frames. But right. the one thing is that they do cover a lot of space. Oh, yeah. The I mean, that's just... Shulk in general, right? Not the not the fastest amount of startup on his moves. Uh, they take a little bit to come out, but they cover so much area, and that's the trade-off that you get. Try to get the down smash on the normal getup. Ooh, nice down tilt, and gets the tech chase on the platform as well. Smash art for this ledge trap. What's it going to be? The back air. Void slipped through, though. Usually you guys have opportunity at the ledge here. Nico would have been looking for back air to see how Void was going to get up from the ledge or go for forward tilt. And if he was going to hang out at the ledge, forward air would have definitely oh, yeah. been the choice. And I like the up tilt with Arsene as well to just call out the jump. There's so much situations in Ultimate where you hit someone's shield or you run up on someone's shield, and jumping is such a... I wouldn't say it's like the safest thing, but it's definitely like a very common option. And yeah. It's like decently safe. Yeah, yep. There's the back throw. That killed him! Yeah, that's one thing that doesn't smash R. Uh, Nico is pretty much accustomed to going for the, the old smash wall roll behind the ledge, get the Ooh, grab back throw. He didn't have rage. Like, I know he had uh, smash R, but damn. That is strong. Yeah, Void needs... Yeah, and we, we see the forward smash. Void needs to to make this comeback. He doesn't want to try and rely on R7, which is why we saw the forward smash. Didn't work out, so going to have to rely on the good old faithful here. Oh, the cross up there, though. And oh, the up air no. is enough, even in jump art, uh, that does change Shulk's property to be very floaty. So that's what will probably cause an upper to actually kill that percent at that high up as well. I, I swear he's probably trying to switch the shield. You yeah, know he, I mean? he might he might he have might messed up. Yeah. Because, like, I, I just don't see why you would switch the jump in that situation. I didn't see if he got the dial or if he just pressed the special button or not. Yeah. Oh, look at the back airs coming out. The corner pressure from Void. These nares are so lingering, especially with Arsene, and we see a little display of the up gun, something you don't see too often. No, not at all, but I like it, though. And when it calls for it, Oh, he, he fell out! Oh, man, the force match was so close to connecting, but Nico was able to slip through. And you might have been actually able to do it because uh, being in jump art does all be susceptible to... I don't remember how much point of the knockback, but you do take as much knockback as you would in Smash Art. Oh, wow. Okay, boy didn't know if he went for a cross up there. With the back air, the trade. No, he doesn't get it. That's and no he sweet spot from the backslash. Oh, the oh man, Void is so close. Another Arsene. He, oh, he wanted him to go extra low, but unfortunately, Void will still recover and the trade off here. This is so close. And I like the recovery from Void there. He opted to use the first up B just for that little mini jump. I like it. Down he it. waits for it, but the, the oh, oh. back. What? That was incredible. What I did not hitbox? see the hitbox being that big at okay, all. Okay, like. But you know what it is? It's was possible. that okay? Like. So I oh, feel. Are like you okay with that? I'm not, but I kind of understand why. <laughs> I respect it. Don't yeah, get me wrong. I'm I respect not. it, but like, <laughs> damn, bro. I thought he got hit with down air. Like that's how low that hitbox is. Like that's crazy. The reason why I also see it too is the animation in which Shulk actually grabs the sword to change art. Uh, does leave his hand sticking out a little bit. Okay. So I, I do kind of see how that works. I've seen some of the hurt boxes for Shulk. Uh, sh shout out to Jiggy and the training mod pack. I, did, I was able to look into some of those options there for Shulk. Oh, yeah, for sure. 
Okay, so, I mean, we might have another all Pokemon Stadium set here. Uh, start things off. Grand Finals, uh, Void, of course, on the loser side of things, and Nico on the winner side. So Void gonna have to win two sets to take mm -hmm. this uh, MSM. Getting a, getting a point on the board is well on its way to getting those two sets, like you said here. Let's see what Nico can do about it. Pretty safe recovery here. Nico kind of fading a little farther back than usual on this uh, ledge trap. Yeah, and he's been a little bit closer when I mean, I've been able to find a different opportunity here. But unfortunately, oh. going for now, I mentioned the startup frames. It wasn't going to find the hitbox, no. though. Oh, unfortunate. SD coming out from Void kind of went for the back air. And then he wanted to make sure he didn't get hit by LB, so he did a little fastball before he upbeat. Mm -hmm. Might have fastball a little too far, though. Sitting there does catch him on the backside here. Nico getting the reversal with the forward air. Nice. He nearly goes in. Ooh, so much damage right into the oh. smash. That almost killed him. 53% at 113. Oh, no. And that if the upright wasn't going to kill him, it was going to be the fact that he was a little bit too low for Wings of Rebellion. You know what? If you're going to have two SDs within a set, I'd rather stack them up in one game, right? Yeah. Fair enough. I agree with that one. By no means, though, like is Void out of this game, but that, that does suck. Yeah. Especially with Arsene, too. Like, when you SD with Arsene, that's a, a super feels bad. Probably SD with Limit Cloud at that point. So we tried to get the lock on the platform there because of the shield art, but falling a little too fast there. Not enough hit stun. Try to get that shield grab on the nair. Nice but change up, falling up air. Oh wait, what's the punish here? Fair one. Oh, I was thinking maybe like down air into something, but oh man, Void swinging a little too early. He reacted to the to the counter, but just kind of put the trigger a little too soon. Nice pushing out the speed art. One of the things VR also does for the user, you guys wondering here, it does decrease his jump height. That allows Nico to get certain aerials the way he does. Right, right. And I mean, that's why there's some combos that are only. Whoa. Oh, oh. That was actually. Oh. That was not worth. Not worth it. I respect, though, what he wanted to do. He's, he wanted to wait for Void to come right. back and hit him with Air Slash, but unfortunately, he was a little. He had exhausted his jumps. Right. And I, I just feel like Nico only positioned himself like that because he thought. That he was going to deal with an Arsene recovery. Because <laughs> Joker's recovery is actually better without Arsene. Funny enough. <laughs> oh, wow. The Nair doesn't catch the normal get up here. Nico able to maybe finish this stock off on the ledge trap or this game off, I'd say. And the corner pressure back air will take it for Nico. And that was kind of scary. He almost let that one slip away from him. Yeah. Oh, something that happened there back earlier that I kind of saw, but I kind of. The game happened so fast, I actually forgot about it. But like I mentioned earlier, Nico wanted to get him with the up B. Uh, and I do agree. I think I think the tether grab for uh, Joker is much better than Arsene because right. you are able to dip that extra You have low. mix. Yeah. yeah, you have mix-ups. You can, like, tether on, just latch and wait there, then reel up. And, you yeah. Know I mean? like, there, there's, and it's very hard to react to the reel up with, like, a two-frame. So mm. it's, like, way harder to two-frame uh, Joker as well. Nice Nair into 4 and Oh, there it is. So, like you mentioned earlier, right, some of the combos that Shulk does get are accessible in specific arts, Buster Art being one of those for you, and of course, Speed Art as well. So those two arts give Shulk, uh, pretty much they give Shulk different combos at different sets. Oh man, and the Persona is out. Arsene is out to play, but man, not too much damage on a Nico here. Void opting to go for a lot of safe damage, but comes in with the dash tag as well. Okay, he's got the stage control. Nice. You only have to use one jump to go for. Oh, wow. A high backslash, but Void not able to punish it. Now setting up with the stall on the gun there mm -hmm. in the air. I like that to set up the, you know, position yourself for back air. Yeah, he knows Nico was kind of forced to go low at that opportunity. He wanted to be there with the back air. Ooh, man. Not going to punish that. He dashed back, kind of positioned himself uh, really well. And Nico going with the smash art fair that's going to obliterate Void on the right side. Okay, getting something cooking with the down tilt here. Oh, the drag down. Oh, wait, but he's in shield art. Okay, I mean, he gets a good amount of damage, but yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the thing about Shulk, right? A, a lot of other characters in that situation, they were dead. Yeah. And the ability to have shield art in play was really going to be enough. You also actually do you lose shield art faster the more damage you take. Right. So, so avoid going for those multiple reps is just to burn the shield art. Immediately. Exactly. Buster Art, the 50-50 Art here, and that will be a good percent there for Nico at 91. I, it's like, 
the counter with arts are just crazy because obviously smash art counter incredibly strong yes. you've seen people tie incredibly early to that and buster same goes for that as well just racking up so much damage Ooh, i like the way that nico positioned himself on the ledge he had his back facing so he could either sometimes i've seen him do it he'll go for backslash because of the double knockback you take and with smash art being activated that would have been really great but also back air and of course forward to orb grass yeah and you see when uh Nico had the smash art. Void was swinging some pretty wild haymakers almost. You know what I mean? Like, in calculated situations. Now, speaking of haymakers. Uh, <laughs> and you you got to be able to do that when they're in smash art because you want them to be scared too. But Nico just answering right back. <laughs> I, he saw It's the fact that he went for forward air too. And he stuck at his foot and he was able to hit back forward air. Yeah. Not too much you can do in that situation. That's just a really good edge guard mm -hmm. setup from Nico, right? that presence of the fact that the Shulk just go, just go any aerial at that point at the ledge. That cross up. So nice off that falling up air. And if he lands it, he gets a rising up air in Buster Art. Like, that's so good. 55 to 55 here. Almost a down throw. Almost gets the down. What a really good opportunity for Moy to go for that one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there's the counter. Get off me. Still has a good amount of Arsene. Void pretty much in control. And the, the less you get hit, the longer your Arsene, right? Yes. So, and I, mean, I like the fact that you kind of saw the cross-up. He wanted to go for the up and get out of that situation here, but he didn't get anything. Oh, the smash art. Can Void survive? His Arsene is running out. Oh, like, wow. he kind of went for the double jump there to kind of be away from being away from Joker. And the Ar fact that Void kind of had his back, back air is going to do that. Arsene's gone. Smash art gone. All the scary things off the table for now. Yeah. Smash art going to come back way sooner than Arsene, though. That's for sure. I believe Jump. usually 16 to 18 seconds each art will be restored. Yeah, yeah, that's a, a like good, uh, like it differs mm. obviously. But yeah. yeah. Okay, man. Very last talk, last hit situation. Nico constantly going for these edge guards. This time going for the smash art ledge trap. Yep. Oh, and he gets it, and that is going to be it. Nico sealing out the tournament. 3 1 victory in grand finals, and I mean,